Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just a couple of words from the dynamic female duo, Salt and Pepper. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I want to add, the hate is real. There's a reason of why people treat Angel Snub Nub 7 the way they do. Because of jealousy and hate. Envy. Well, jealousy and envy creates the hate. The dislike. Some may appear friendly. Some may appear as though, Angel, you cool, but deep down inside, jealousy and envy. Prior to the allegations or the revelation of the domestic life of Elijah Muhammad, people were jealous and envious of Malcolm X because of his sincerity, because of his oratorical skills, his mind, his relationship with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I'm just jealous. So when he was murdered, they celebrated. Envy and jealousy result in hate. And the hate causes one to think about murder. So now, one of our greatest talents, one of our greatest fighters in the cause died prematurely. Jealousy and envy. And then there are those who talk. I, I wasn't jealous of, I wasn't envious of Malcolm. Damn lie. Yes, they were. They want his talent. They wanted that relationship with Elijah Muhammad. Everything that Malcolm was, they wanted. I don't understand jealousy and envy. There was a young lady I was in love with since the third grade. And she had a boyfriend by the time we got to high school. I had not seen her in years since grade school. And everybody knew that I liked this young lady. I never, he was a basketball player. I went to the basketball games to support him and the team. I never spit poison or look how short he is. I never was happy because he shot a basket and missed. Not a hater. I wanted the woman, the young lady that he had, but that gives me no reason to hate. I can't have everything in life. I never wish that he slip on the floor and become a, a, a paralyzed or something. So maybe I have an opportunity to get the girl. I never understood jealousy and envy. I was considered, when I was growing up in, in school, I was considered a, a pretty smart fellow. There was a young lady, Diane West. Diane West was my competition. And Diane West outperformed me and showed that she was a little bit smarter sometimes, that I never was jealous. Myself and Diane, we both respected that we both were pretty intelligent, smart people. And we, as the old saying goes, steel sharpen steel. We used each other to make ourselves better. Instead of being jealous and envious and hoping somebody fail, somebody get hurt, somebody die. 
how much better would it have been for the nation of Islam instead of jealousy and envy? You think to yourself, how can I be more like Malcolm? I don't, I don't want to be Malcolm, but how can I be more like Malcolm? But sometimes that's just not your thing. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be like Malcolm. So what's the sense of being jealous and envious of somebody? This is a severe problem in Black America. If you look, since y'all study history and y'all got the information, regardless to what organization whether it was the Civil Rights Movement or the Nation of Islam or the Black Panther Party, you will always see envy and jealousy. Always. And of course, we want to blame J. Edgar Hoover and the government. That, uh, that's fine because they were, they were doing their thing. But a lot of this dismantling, a lot of our failure come from ourselves because we are jealous and envious. We are greedy, we are materialistic. And that's, I would assume and I believe it comes from because we come from slaves. We, we're not used to having nothing. And we wanna be somebody. That was one of the rallying cries by Jesse Jackson not too long ago. I am somebody. Tell them I, I am. I am somebody. That was one of the slogans. We love slogans. I am somebody. There were many people who did admire Muhammad Ali, but then there are those who wanted to see Muhammad Ali lose. Because Muhammad Ali doing all this bragging, they went to the uh, they went to the boxing match because I want to see Muhammad Ali lose. Which brings me up to why I wanted to present this video because somebody left a comment on my board, and this is what they said. They told me, I hope that people will support your Mississippi campaign. And when you first begin to read it, you was like, wow, thank you. I hope that people will support your Mississippi campaign so that you will finally see that it's, it's a loss. It's a losing proposition, something to that effect. Paraphrasing. They don't want you to win. Jealousy, envy. Because they're jealous and they're envious because we don't need God. We don't read all, we don't need all these books, magazines, the information and doing all the research. We are smart enough, we are bright enough and we have done some reading and we have done some researching, but we depend on us. We're not looking for dead people to come from the grave. We're not looking for the return of Jesus or the return of Elijah Muhammad or the or we're not depending on expired wisdom from people who are deceased. Marcus Garvey cannot help us. Malcolm cannot help us. Dr. King cannot help us. Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, they cannot help us. We are on our own here. We have a brain just like they had a brain. Who did they look up to? Who caused them to move the way they did? They need camera herder religion. It's not even your God. Somebody sold you their God from a foreign land and you can't function for Jesus. Jesus is not American. Jesus come from a foreign land, went to, went to, went to foreign people, 
Jesus never came to America and told you a damn thing. You can't function. They're jealous and envious of us, we who come here, the reality is temple on earth, because we don't need. How can angel, how can angel snub up seven? You're not quoting from Dr. Claude Anderson. You're not quoting from John Henry Clark. You're not quoting from the Bible or the Holy Quran. No, but you are leaving. How can you come and present something to us and you don't have, you didn't get it from somewhere? So they are jealous and envious. Because we have learned how to use our brain like every, like every human being on the planet should be able to do so. So, this person, and it makes no difference. It's a possibility. It may not work. Who cares? Well, I, I do care. I take that back. I, I care. I, I care. I want it to work. We want it to work. But you want to destroy the effort. You want to destroy the idea before it can even be born. Because you're jealous and you're envious. Because our success will make you look really, really bad. Because you have had 100 years, 50 years, 20 years. It's thousands of you. And you have been doing this for years. And you have not been successful. So you want to get angry. And you're upset with those who might finally get the job done. With no religion, no, no pro-black ideology, no references to the Bible and the Quran and dead people. This is why, this is why we go, or we have been on these platforms, I'm supposed to be talking about the Mississippi campaign. They don't really want to bother. They're not really interested. They want to talk about Sister Noble. They want to talk about Minister Farrakhan. I did not come here to talk about Sister Noble. I did not come here to talk about the Mississippi campaign. I mean, about Minister Farrakhan. I wanted to come to your platform to speak about something very, very important. The people need to discuss this, talk about it, and if it's viable, then we should act upon it and implement this as soon as possible so that we can be successful and change our condition. They don't want to hear that they, because they, could, they will not support the Mississippi campaign because I can't, they can't give God any credit for success. They can't, they can't give some, some of our ancestors from the past, which of course, we are founded upon our ancestors. The reason why we're here is because our ancestors paved the way to make things easier. But that's not enough. We need to honor something, somebody. Get the credit. We're not going to give Angel Snuffin' Up 7 no credit like that. Jealous and envy. Where am I getting all this from? It's impossible. You can't be smarter than Farrakhan. You can't be smarter than Garvey. You can't be smarter than Malcolm. Who the hell you think you are? But when you listen to the Mississippi campaign and when you hear what comes from this ministry... And it's all coming from this brain. They wish they could do and roll the way we do here. Watch yourself. Be careful. Don't become a victim of jealousy and envy. 